Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Chrisman XMNN, and for today's video, we're going to update the Xiaomi Mi 10T to the latest Mi 5 version, which is the 12.5.4 RJD MIXM. And it also shows here that the size of this update is just 707 megabytes. What is this update for? It shows here that we have here the MIUI 12.5 Enhance. So these are the um, enhancement, swift performance, focus algorithm, atomized memory, liquid storage, smart balance. For the system, we have the security update patch to August 2021, increased system security. And for the lock screen, we have a new fingerprint options, fixed memory usage issues when charging animation was displayed, fixed using face unlock and fingerprint unlock lock and so on and so forth you may just pause and read what are those um, fixes and we also have here for the fixes for the notification shade or the status bar optimization for third-party theme compatibility for notification shade optimization and so on and so forth so you may just pause the video and check what are these updates for all right so we have successfully updated this phone to the latest MIUI version which is the 12.5.4 RJD MIXM now before using this phone, we need to clear the cache partition of this device since this may affect the performance of the phone. So just go to the security application, then tap on cleaner, then clean up, then restart the phone. And now let's navigate the phone. So navigating the phone is still so smooth and checking the notification shade and the icons are still the same. And as you can see, the phone is able to maintain 144 refresh rate here. But what I noticed so far for this update is that when you are not touching the screen, uh, I think the phone is taking its time to decrease its refresh rate. From 144, it's supposed to decrease to 50 hertz, and, and it's still waiting here. It's supposed to still have the adaptive refresh rate, and it's still not decreasing. So let me try to open an application here, like Chrome. Let's see if it's gonna decrease its refresh rate. And it's still at 144 refresh rate there. So it will take time for the phone to decrease the refresh refresh rate when you are not using the screen and now let's run a new Antutu benchmark test and check if there is an improvement in the score the current score that we have right now is 654,088 so let's run a test a new score of 647,817 so the Antutu benchmark score has decreased by 0.96% it's just a very little decrease but we will check the performance in terms of gaming battery drainage and, it, and its temperature we will play one session of mobile legend and we will start with 100% battery 75% brightness and base temperature of 30.4 degrees celsius let's start Alright, so let's check the running temperature of the phone. And we are up to 34.9 degrees Celsius, which is a very normal um, temperature for 35.1 degrees Celsius. So let's check the remaining battery of this phone. Now we are down to 97% from 100%, so we just consume 3% of battery playing one session of Mobile Legends. A new feature has been added to this phone is the memory extension. So to access it, one, just go to settings of this phone, go to additional settings, and then we have your memory extension so it shows here that add three gigs of ram by occupying storage use this feature only when there's enough storage space available on your device so let's check if it will add more ram to this phone all right so i just changed the wallpaper of this phone for us to visualize the show memory status or the status of the ram here so currently we have used five gigs of ram out of a total of 8 gigs of RAM and you're gonna ask me where is the additional 3 gigs of RAM the answer for that is what you are seeing here is the physical RAM which is installed to this phone the additional 3 gigs of RAM will come into play if it's gonna exceed 8 gigs of RAM now let's check the camera performance in terms of video we are still getting the same very good video quality with good colors and contrast and also good stabilization as well and we are still getting the same quality from 
photos, it's still great with good contrast and color production. Before we continue, if you find value in my videos, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, then all, and like the video. It would mean a lot to me as a small YouTuber. Okay, so what I can say is the update is safe. The only issue that I have encountered so far is the adaptive refresh rate. Normally, if you are not using the phone, the refresh rate will go down to 50 hertz. Based on what we have observed a while ago, it stayed at 144 refresh rate for almost 2 minutes. Now, if you have some questions or clarifications, just leave a comment down below. And once again, this is Chrisman XMNN. See you in the next one. Peace.